took a beating and his whole body was broke for us. Broke for us. Do it, we know who the world was broke for. Abraham had it, matter of fact, that's what he's known for. Faith, y'all, do it, we can save by grace. If you got it, we can sing it by the way it run a race. Yeah. That means we can see it on your face. If the faith don't act, then it really ain't faith. And that really ain't the case. Cause faith ain't faith. Better have you trying to act out the word every day. Every Christian has faith. It's a gift, we should use it. Some distort the view of it and others just abuse it. It can be irrational and make it give you life up. Christ and not to get a nice truck, right? Just but you know you gotta trust God when it seems hard, man. Faith is a must, dog. You gotta leap, leap with it. You gotta leap, leap with it. Take a leap of faith. You gotta leap, leap with it. Jump, jump, and I jump from it. Jump, jump, jump. Church, 
they'll have step in, with the full step in, they'll just have one foot in the door, one back, a year and a half later, started conversation with my, the children of my mother again. One minute conversation, 30 minutes, 30 minutes turned into an hour, an hour turned into two hours. A couple months later, they're sure going to take me back and move down here. I was able with my daughter was able to get back to church in 2007. And they asked, Thank you, God. Can you come with us? Because they were just going with their friends at the time. And I said, okay, I can do that. So I got back to the church. We we'll do the Sunday thing. Come back out. Go back to us. Trying to do the path, but still doing like the snake slide while I get it on I lost my mom in January. Kind of put me back away from church. Same time, when I was raised, it taught me that when you pass, you don't die. You just come on, you live. Come on down, come on down. Four years ago, my four, three years ago, my mom had her first kids who died of pneumonia. So as I see it, they're up there in heaven with each yes. other again. Yes. She's getting our mansion ready. She's okay. waiting for us. Okay. She's the one who's living, and we're still here struggling. So God, we help me realize that she's not gone. She's just waiting for us. Come on down. She's still alive and well. Thank you. I used to think. Still drink though here and there. When I socialize, I like to smoke and weed. I, I'm not doing nothing bad because I used to believe in Exodus it says that, that all seed bearing plants and vegetables be used. And, oh, okay, God said let it smoke this it. Is a good it. Testimony. Right. Testimony. Right. I was a Satan trying to use the word to put up my mind so I wouldn't go completely over the line. Right. I used to get knocked on the door by the whole witnesses. By Lutherans, Mormons. I took it on. Okay, okay, but somebody was here. You need to get back to church, guy. Right? Get back to church. A little bit after my mom passed away, we had a garage sale. And the young kids were walking by up our street. Y'all know Jesus. Y'all know God. Oh, yes, we do. Thank you. And preacher, keep up the good work. Put the car in front of mine. Where I told you. Give it to those kids right there. They were like, we can see you. But it's church. Kids, you teach them right, they keep on going. Yes. Like I said, you teach them. You give a man a fish, they'll eat for one day. Say you it teach them how to fish, they'll oh. eat it for oh. one day. Oh. That was January. They came in touch and put an opportunity there. Okay. Thank you. This past June, we were at the park saving a spot for my daughter's birthday. Pastor Jesse, his wife, and his kids come out and they're pass passing them in and witnessing them. For some reason, I told Pastor Jesse, I do, but I like smoking weed. I can't give it up. It's something that keeps me calm and doesn't let me argue. So that, you know what? Just come as you are. Thank you. Ah, come on. Ah, People ah. follow the week, follow the Sunday. I came in. I didn't hear straight. I want to thank all of you and what I've learned from watching, seeing that God worked from the inside out, not from the outside in. And there's a pastor who said, uh, I think his name is Joel Olstein. Going through all that and tapped and all that, we were thinking it was a mess. Pastor Olstein says, he'll take your mess. Turn it into the message. Hey!